now another paragraph for question number 55 and 56 let s equals s1 intersection s2 intersection s3 where s1 equals z from the set of complex numbers such that mod z is less than 4 s2 is z from the set of complex numbers such that imaginary part of z minus 1 plus root 3 iota upon 1 minus root 3 iota is greater than 0 s3 again z from the set of complex numbers such that real part of z is greater than 0 now two questions based on it first area of s is equal to second minimum where z is from the set s mod 1 minus 3 iota minus z so let's construct this given part s1 s2 s3 first and set s1 is z where z is from the set of complex numbers such that mod z is less than 4 means it is a circle centered at origin with radius 4 second imaginary part of z minus 1 plus root 3 iota upon 1 minus root 3 iota is greater than 0 s1 that is about x square plus y square less than 16 s2 when I put here z as x plus iota y and simplify it, this will be giving me root 3x plus y is greater than 0 and s3 is known to me x greater than 0 when I convert into the Cartesian form, right. In place of x and y, we can also say real axis and imaginary axis. s1 is this one. Now the line root 3x plus y means with slope minus root 3. So, we can trace it in this manner. This angle would be numerically 60 degree, otherwise it is minus 60. x greater than 0 means of this side. So, we can shade the required portion S as this one. This angle we can say this is 60 degree numerical value I am talking about. Correct. Now, question number 1 area of s area of s means this shaded portion this is one fourth of the total circles area now this portion this is 60 degree total is 360 so this segment is one sixth of the total area so the required area of s this is simply one fourth plus one sixth of the total area of the circle which is pi into r which is 4 square correct that is simply 5 by 12 into 16 pi or 20 pi by 3 square units so in this manner we can obtain the area of the portion s 20 pi by 3 so the correct option is b next minimum of mod 1 minus 3 iota minus z where z is from the set s minimum of mod z in place of saying 1 minus 3 iota minus z i can also read it as z minus 1 plus 3 iota it is same there is no difference in the two 1 plus 3 iota correct this is actually talking about distance of z from 1 comma minus 3 1 comma minus 3 this radius is 4 1 comma minus 3 we can check the point say for example here is the point 1 comma 0 if i put here 1 comma 0 i obtain root 3 which is greater than 0 in this portion when i put here 1 minus 3 i get root 3 minus 3 which is less than 0 means it is here so the question is about the distance shortest distance means distance of the point from this line so this is equal to distance of 1 comma minus 3 from root 3 x plus y is equal to 0 so just drop the perpendicular that gives you 
root 3 minus 3 upon 2 its modulus or 3 minus root 3 upon 2 units. So, for the next question the answer is 3 minus root 3 upon 2 that is C. So, we can write both answers question number 55 correct answer is B while question number 56 correct answer is C. Let us go for the next question that is question number 57. Okay, let us talk about the next question that is question number 57. This time the next segment that is matrix match. Consider the lines L1 x minus 1 upon 2 equals y upon minus 1 equals z plus 3 upon 1 and L2 x minus 4 upon 1 equals y plus 3 upon 1 equals z plus 3 upon 2 and the planes P1 7x plus y plus 2z equals 3 and p2 3x plus 5y minus 6z equals 4. Let ax plus by plus cz is equal to d be the plane passing through the point of intersection of lines l1 and l2 and perpendicular to the planes p1 and p2. List a and list b that is list 1 and list 2 are given to us as p, q, r, s List 1 has A, B, C, D, list 2 has 1, 2, 3, 4, the values for A, B, C, D. We have to match the correct code. For example, when we solve say A comes 1 and so on. So, possibility when A comes 1 that is P is matched to 3 like A and C, correct. So, in this manner we have to match this part. So, move to this question L1 x minus 1 upon 2 equals y upon minus 1 is equal to z plus 3 upon 1 is equal to say lambda. Similarly, the other line is x minus 4 upon 1 is equal to y plus 3 upon 1 is equal to z plus 3 upon 2 is equal to say mu. We have to find the point of intersection of these two lines. To get the point of intersection, let us say x coordinates are compared 2 lambda plus 1 is equal to mu plus 4. Similarly, minus lambda is equal to mu minus 3. We can also go for the third one. When we solve these two, we can find the value for lambda and mu. Say for example, on simply subtracting the two, mu is cancelled out, we get 3 lambda. Here is equal to 3 plus 3 that is 6 or lambda is equal to 2. Substitute this value of lambda 2 to get the point of intersection. So, point of intersection. we obtain as the first x coordinate when we put 2 it is 5, y coordinate it is minus 2 and the z coordinate that is lambda minus 3 that is minus 1. So, this is the point of intersection of the two lines. Now, let us move to the question part again. The plane ax plus by plus cz is equal to d be the plane passing through the point of intersection of lines L1 and L2 and perpendicular to these two planes. So, simply the cross product will give me the normal vector. So, we can write the equation of plane A as equation of the plane that is the required one is determinant x minus 5 y plus 2 z plus 1 correct from the first plane that is 7 1 2 correct 7 1 2 from the second plane that is p 2 we have 3 5 and minus 6 this is equal to 0 we can solve it simplify to get the equation of plane simplifying we get x minus 3y minus 2z 
is equal to 13. When we compare it with the given plane that is ax plus by plus cz is equal to d, we get a equals 1, b equals minus 3, c equals minus 2 and d equals 13. So, a is equal to 1, a is 1 means p is matched with 3 either a or c, b is equal to minus 3 that is q is matched with 2 again the same situation is there, c is minus 2 that is matched with 4. So, this one correct, so clearly we get the correct answer is code a. Let us move to the next question that is question number 58. 